Hello and welcome to Maths by SAS. This is my fourth lesson of B3, chapter number one, exercise 1e. That is about the sketches of the quadratic functions. This lesson is equally important for D2 and D3 students and the students who are going to appear in their O-level examination because this is one of the important concepts of your O-level examination as well. Students, in this lesson, uh, we'll be discussing and learning how to sketch the graph of the quadratic equation, which is given in a factorized form by heat and trial method. And we'll be discussing B part of question number one, y equals to x minus two into x plus four. Okay, recall my previous lesson. Uh, for lessons of mathematics, it's really important to integrate your previous lesson with the new lesson, because if the previous link is weak the new lesson will also be affected so all those students uh, who have missed the previous class or they are joining us late for all those students i'll be giving the link of the lesson in the description box so that they can watch and understand uh, my basic lessons in which i have given the six point summary that will be helping you in sketching in the quadratic graph so recall my previous lesson that what is the first step for the sketching of any quadratic graph when the graph is and the equation is already given in the factorized form uh, by hit and trial method first of all we have to identify the coefficient of and the sign of the square term and decide whether it is positive or negative x square positive or negative and why we are doing that uh, because it will be helping us in uh, deciding that whether the curve uh, will have the opening upward or downward okay and this step has to be done in your mind only because it will be helping us in deciding whether the curve will have the opening upward or downward or it will have minimum turning point or maximum turning point this point you have to visualize and imagine in your mind only as the coefficient of the square term is positive so uh, this curve will have the opening upward and it will have the minimum point after deciding first step then what we have to do this is really important to uh, visualize this whether the curve will have opening upward or downward then after that we have to find the x intercepts and what is the procedure for finding x intercepts for x intercept what we have to do put y equals to 0 in given equation uh, let it be 1 in 1 so when I'm making putting y equals to 0 I will have 0 equals to x minus 2 and x plus 4 and then we simply have to apply either our condition and we have to uh, make either x minus 2 equals to 0 or x plus 4 equals to 0 this will be giving me this will be giving me uh, two roots or two solutions or two values of x x equals to 2 or x equals to minus 4 so here we are getting x intercept so as uh, we are putting y equals to 0 so we will have two points with us a equals to 2 0 and b equals to minus 4 and 0 and let me block or underline these two points so that my students can see these points carefully x intercepts are done and now what we have to do we have to find y intercepts for y intercept what we have to do we have to put x equals to 0 x equals to 0 in the given equation given equation or equation 1 you must have to give such references in your working so that examiner can understand your message easily when I'm putting x equals to 0 I can have 0 minus 2 and uh, 0 plus 4 which is uh, minus 2 multiplied by 4 and which is equal to minus 8 so now what we have to do recall the previous lesson 
always integrate uh, your lesson with the previous lesson and then we have to find line of symmetry equation of line of symmetry equation of uh, line of symmetry and uh, what is the formula and rule for the line of symmetry that it is the midpoint it's the midpoint of both x intercepts or it's halfway between uh, x intercepts so x intercepts are 2 and minus uh, 4 by 2 which is equal to minus 2 minus 2 by 2 which is equal to minus 1 so equation of line of symmetry is x equals to minus 1 so what we have to do is uh, that we have to put this value of x in the given equation for minimum point minimum point point uh, in the given equation that is y equals to x minus 2 and x plus 4 what we will be doing we have to replace x equals to minus 1 minus 2 into minus 1 plus 4 and uh, this is minus 3 into 3 and this is minus 1 so the minimum point is so minimum point is minus 1 and minus 9 oh so we have solved this equation for those six points and now it's just time to plot these points on the graph okay and we have to sketch the graph so first point is that we have to uh, mark x intercepts so x intercepts are 2 uh, with 0 and this this is minus 4 with 0 x intercepts are marked and then we have to mark y intercept that is uh, 0 with my will be coming at this place and the minimum point and the line of symmetry line of symmetry is at x equals to minus 1 so first let me draw line of symmetry here x equals to minus 1 and the minimum point is minus 1 with minus 9 minus 1 with minus 9 okay uh, this is minus 1 with minus 9 uh, it's a time to join these all points with the uh, help of the smooth curve okay and keeping in mind that this curve will have the opening upward and why is that opening upward because the coefficient of the square term is positive so this curve will have opening upward okay so join the points uh, smoothly and nicely to give a very smooth u-shaped curve okay because parabola is a smooth u-shaped curve either opening upwards or downward depending upon the sign of the coefficient of the square term okay yes okay now uh, join uh, this place nicely to give a very good u-shaped uh, position okay and this uh, as well and now look from the line of symmetry uh, these two intercepts have to be at equal distance one two and three units and one two and three units okay and now it's a time to perfect these points now so that my students can understand and see this uh, visibly uh, this is uh, y intercept i'm making it a little bold this is minimum point and line of symmetry as well x equals to minus one line of symmetry okay and then uh, i have to label line of symmetry as well x equals to uh, minus one and now join the points okay smoothly sorry it should not have any fluctuations okay uh, that's by chance my hand is uh, shaped otherwise it has to go smoothly and same from this side same from this side okay uh, okay okay 
so students you can see that if we are keeping the basic lesson in our mind those six steps we can easily attempt the question of the sketches of parabolic or quadratic curve i hope you are clear about today's class this distance from this point okay this distance and this distance has to be equal and these two are x intercept this is my y intercept you must have to label these positions y intercept this is a minimum point minus 1 and minus 9 minimum point point line of symmetry and these two are x intercepts so this time uh, let me mark like this okay so that students can also spare some time uh, x intercepts these two are x intercepts so students i hope you are really clear uh, about how to sketch the graph of the curve uh, y equals to x minus 2 and x plus 4 x minus 2 and x plus 4 for next difficulty level please catch me in the next class please watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much